Hey everyone, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to another video. In the last couple of days, the most number of queries that I received is Manoj is the market is going to fall. What will be the outcome of US Fed's rate cut decision and its impact in the markets? And adding insult to injury, these YouTubers every day they create videos on how the market will crash. Every time they create a new video on the market crash, this guy from Goa and that lady from Mumbai, markets just keep going up. The more it goes up, the more they are like very bearish about. On the last 30 days, maybe what, 10-15 videos they have created, market is going to crash, market is going to crash, market is still going up. One day it is going to crash, one day it is going to come down. On that day, oh, I have said this, I have said that, see, as like I have told you, market has crashed, so take our courses, make us more rich. That is not how market works. Check this video, okay? So this video is really important if you want to learn something out of this video. On the day of exit polls, I have told that if there is some difference in the numbers that exit polls predicted. What exit polls predicted? Exit polls predicted 400 seats for BJP, right? I was the only one maybe in the entire country who said that market is topped on that day. Even though the government was supposed to form, even though all these agencies who predicted the exit poll were very correct in the past, I was the only one who said markets will fall. On that day, to whichever point I said, markets came to that point, hit that point and it rallied from there. Let me show you the Nifty chart. Okay, so this chart is Nifty on daily. On this day, I created that video. Believe me or not, on this day I created a video. I said market might fall somewhere around this range and reverse if there is even a small difference in the exit poll numbers. You can watch the video. Unfortunately, there was only like what, 600 views for the video. I don't know if some of the subscribers really benefited out of that. If somebody has shorted Nifty futures on that day, okay, on the market opening and once after the government is formed, government was formed here, the coalition government, you went short here, you went long here, you would have made 150% on your futures on this two days only, one, two, three, maybe a week, okay. The point here is markets react markets crash only when there is sudden surprise if there is no surprise markets most of the time will discount most of the news don't listen to anyone who is saying market crash all around here since just because markets are rallying up market rallied up here market crash market rallied up here market crash market went up to new high market crash market went up to new high it's gonna come down market went up to new high it's gonna come down it's gonna go up now as it goes up they'll keep on saying you market is gonna crash market is gonna crash market is gonna crash which is never going to come let's suppose right let's let's take a case for example now after it moves up from here let, let us take for example let let us say there is a favorable decision in us rate cut okay markets favor the move it moves up it moves up 28,000 really fast on this day this guys these two two cartel people is going to make a video that market is going to crash let's suppose market is crashing on that day right if you are in the market if you have invested in the market if the market crashes to 27,000 26,000 even 25,000 this crash will teach you close to what 100 books of knowledge can teach you Okay, don't worry about it. Market corrections will make investors really wise. You will, you will see a whole new patterns, how the markets will react. Right now, what we are seeing? We are seeing bull pattern. When there is a news, how market reacts. When there is a bull news, how market reacts. When there is a new bull news, how market reacts. When there is a new bull news, how market reacts. At least, like, whoever is, I have seen several patterns in my last 15 years of experience. Forget about me. If you are new to the market, if you have entered into the market in the last two years, three years, maybe five years, you might have not seen how market reacts on the beer market news. That is when you will see which all sectors is being given defensive mode, which all sectors will fall, how food based industries will rally, how steel based industries will go sideways, how cyclicals will react, how auto industry reacts. When there is a beer news that comes into picture, the first few industries that will have a big hit is auto industries. So all these things you will learn when the market really crashes. When you are into the market, you will know how the patterns work out, how beer patterns work. Don't listen to these guys. Right now, I'm still bullish on India market. Being that said, the next important question that most of you are asking is Fed interest rate cut. Now, the entire US government and there is an election next month in the November, I think in the first week of November, there is elections that is going to happen in US. If Kamala Harris wins, there is a talk that if you have more than 100 million dollars on unrealized gains also it will be taxed this law they are introducing because people 
what they do let's suppose i bought some share of tesla right at 100 dollars now tesla goes to 200 in us what they will do they go to the bank keep this tesla share as collateral take money as loan and invest back, back into tesla shares pushing the shares more further up this is what like adani is doing right he goes to the bank he says okay see when you gave me the loan my share price was 500 now it is 1000 rupees i will walk I have to reevaluate my share price. Give me the loan for thousand rupees. Take the thousand rupees. Invest back into the business. It goes up to two thousand. Now say the same thing to the bank again. See, you gave me a thousand. Now it is two thousand. Revalue. Take the value. Take the loan for two thousand. Go back and reinvest into the business. Grow and grow. So that is what in US also people were doing. In order to cut down this, where people were misusing this loophole in the law. They are introducing unrealized taxes. This will happen if Kamala Harris wins. We don't know. It's like election exit polls all will be different at the end of the day. Who wins? We don't know at this point of time. But if let's suppose if this happens, right? What will happen? There will be dollars that will be as a ripple effect. Every law, every statement, every every new bill or whatever will have consequence and consequence will have further effects. As a result of this, what might happen? There might be dollars entering into emerging economies. India will be the first preference for US for the investment. What what's going to happen? It's going to go to Singapore. It's going to go to Mauritius, and through Singapore, it will be invested into India, and through Mauritius, it will be invested into India. If this happens, okay, that will be a big big boost for India. Market will again go to thirty thousand, and these two guys will again say market is going to crash, which you don't have to listen to them. Now, on the other hand, if Biden wins. What is going to happen? Most of the news is already taken care of. All is discounted. Now the next big news that the market is waiting in US is 50 basis points reduction in the interest rates. This is already discounted. Let us say instead of 50, right? They only reduce the interest rates by 0.25. That will also be a big boost to Indian economy. Why is because there is no surprise here. Market is market is like used to almost all of the information for the past two years they say cpi they say job data they say inflation they say this that there's no surprise here so market don't have to react too much for any of the news here so either means i am expecting indian markets to do well the patterns are saying you don't have to look all these data and everything look at the pattern every time it reacts right it rallies up further fast every time it has a small reaction it rallies up for on this day Maybe I was the only one who was saying that markets will rally further. Now it is forming an inside candle close to the top. It's not even coming down. What will happen? It will break out again next week. So that is how market. Now, now this, this candle, right? This candle, if you look at this candle, this candle is nothing but give me news candle. Give me news. Give me what news? Fed decision of interest rate. Once that news is there, most likely it will break out. Even if it is favoring US or not, doesn't matter because the economy is growing, right? That's all you have to know. And all these market crash, all these things, nobody can predict. The other important point that when it comes to market crash, you need to remember is market crash happens when it is least expected. Okay. I can sh walk you through the S&P chart, but that will be too much and the video will be too long. I don't want to waste your time. But anyway, what coming to the main point, market correction happens when nobody is expecting and happens most of the time. This is a 500 year old data. There is a book, very good book on economics, real economists who have written this book, Jeremy Segal talks for the longer run. He is the Wharton School of Business, one of the best schools when it comes to MBA. And in that book, a 500 year old data has been analyzed and they have found out market corrections most of the time happens when no one is expecting and it happens in three days. By the time you realize market is correcting, the correction has already happened. Okay, what, look at this one. First day correction, second day correction, third day correction, it is already bottomed out. One, first day correction, second day correction, third day correction, it's already bottomed out. So if you get time, maybe you can go this, go and read this book. This is really a good book on the data side, okay? How markets react on the bull market, which sectors will be given preference. This is only on the US based data, okay? This need not apply to India. India's market because the penetration ratio is still very less. So don't listen to anyone. If they are like so bearish about the market, let them short the market. And if they short the market, they will be wiped out because the market is going to break out into new highs. This is my statement. The final thing that I have for today is just an information. 
I got it from one of the um, local channels. I just watched one of the local channels called Tripur Bulls. I, I mean, like the person does really good job in telling all the news. Today he was saying about this, so I thought I will share the details with you also. Sebi is changing the bonus date from whatever date the company was earlier giving us to T plus two. Let's suppose if the bonus date is today, within the next two days from here on, once this bill is passed and uh, once it has been put into place, you should receive the bonus shares within the next two days. Again, remember each news, each change in the law or bill or anything markets will react. Earlier, when there was a bonus news, what used to happen? The moment the bonus news comes, the stock will rally 20%, 30%, 40%, sometimes 60%, 50%. After the bonus share is issued, there will be a profit booking. Okay, So this is because the window period is not known. Company says on a T date and then they used to give sometimes a month, two months, three months later also, the bonus was credited in some cases. Now T plus two. Okay. This means there is going to be a reaction. How the reaction is going to be that we will see slowly in the next one or two weeks when after this bill is passed, after this is put into place, maybe a few bonus issues, you will see how the market is reacting. Instead of 30, 40, 50% rallies earlier, after this circular, after this is put into place, the stock might only rally 15%. Okay. I'm just guessing this may not be the case, but that is how markets will react. So all these things you need to understand, which is why I'm actually giving all these details. So every news, every change in law, every change in bill, every change in actual rules, regulations, protocols will see a market impact. That is when the surprise comes. This is a surprise to the market. Okay. There will be a reaction. If there is no surprise, most of the news is already discounted. All right. Hope you have learned something from this video. I'll meet you again. Thanks. Bye-bye and take care.